Okay, hey YouTube, and today I just wanted to do a basic video on uh, reloading a tablet, a Windows 7 tablet. Uh, this particular one is the Myris 11.6 capacitive touchscreen tablet, Windows 7. Uh, most of them have BIOSes built in it, so what you basically need to do is to reload it, you'll need a CD-ROM drive. I picked up one of these, DVD burner, and uh, it's a light scribe, it does everything, they're about 50 bucks has a little connection in the back so you plug your little USB mini USB in the back then uh, normally it has two other connectors here like this um, these two other connectors that it gives you are usually for additional power uh, if this is flashing red which means it's not drawing enough power by connecting just to one then you have to connect both of these um, normally you should get away with just doing this one okay so what you do is you should have a USB as long as you have a standard. I would never buy a tablet that doesn't have standard USB ports. And these are pretty standard. These are the big ones. You can see how big those ports are. This is actually for my mouse. This is an HDMI and this is a USB port. So let's go ahead and plug this USB port in here. Plugs into the cable. Lay your laptop down, well, your tablet. And then you're going to want to most, will have a a bio screen to come up from side. Sometimes you can hook up a keyboard in there too if you had to head F2. Turn the unit on, however you turn your tablet on. It will start coming up. You'll get actually a, on this one you get a setup. See we can tap on that setup to get you into the setup. Okay, you'll come up with the setup. You'll get a blue light on the back of this one. This particular has a blue light, meaning that it's good. If it was red, you'd have to hook this other cable into the back of it and uh, you could do that uh, if you look at here now the tablet shows you go to boot SATA built-in EFL shell and STDVDRW which is the third one you know you could change that to have it boot to the first one or whatever you can move them down but as long as it's showing that then you should be fine and all you basically have to load is your software that came with your uh, uh, unit and boot it up, change the boot sequence, which sometimes all you have to do is uh, it gives you the option, it says uh, plus and minus to change the option, uh, so you can go through this menu to move it wherever you want to move it. Okay. Want to get it in there, if you want to get it in there. So there's some options here you can change it, uh, and you would change it to what you want, and you select the system order there. Once you selected that and you booted the system, it booted the CD-ROM, and then you could walk through through selecting and reinstalling the OS. But most of your settings are just going to be in the BIOS. This is a standard uh, American Megatrends, and that's pretty uh, pretty much standard um, CPU configuration. It's got some stuff there. Uh, it's got IDE configuration, um, ports. So it's got a lot of different settings you can fool around with. I wouldn't bother with some of those because you can really goof it up. But basically, like I say, having a little tool like this is really nice because you could uh, use this little CD-ROM loading into a lot of different OS's and stuff. And uh, my particular one came, I had a case, so I put it in my little case here to load it up there. And put the USB cables in there, so if you ever have to uh, use this nice little portable device, I'd also recommend you know grabbing a little uh, USB keyboard. You can always dig them up. They got the little USB keyboards, which are pretty small. Um, and you have one, and then you just keep it in your your tools uh, for loading PCs or whatever. But I just wanted to show you that real quick, and mostly if it's a Windows tablet even like an Android or something's going to have some kind of setup but uh, this is a nice little guy the Myris uh, pretty thin I like it because it does have these ports on the side here it's going to give you you know two standard USBs card reader SDs and you have a, a SD slot for adding memory so just thanks a lot and I just wanted to show you that have a good day